Hey, it's Doug Cunnington from Niche Site Project. And this video is going to be about getting around the keyword planner uh, volume issues that we're seeing recently. So I haven't been impacted by this until like the last week or so. And in fact, a lot of readers um, brought it to my attention that they're having issues too. So if you're not familiar with this problem, the Google Keyword Planner is now combining search volumes together. So you, let's say you search for something like niche sites, you'll end up with keyword volume ranges from 10 to 100 or 100 to 10,000 uh, or that sort of thing. So it's really not helpful at all to get those wide ranges. The sort of word on the street and the reason why this is happening is for you know particular advertisers or people that have accounts in the AdWords uh, platform to do keyword research. Uh, they're not spending probably any money or very little money on ads because they're merely using it for keyword research. So anyway, this video is going to show you a quick workaround that I found using free tools to take care of it. So um, let's go over to the video. Okay, so I've already told you about what this problem is and here's exactly what it looks like. So this is the output from the keyword planner right here and you can see these big ranges and it wasn't as bad as I mentioned. So it's usually a 10 X factor. It seems 100 to 1000. We see that a few times and um, we'll actually see a little bit more of that when we look at the long tail pro output here where they may mention, um, 10K to 100K. So huge sort of ranges and not particularly helpful to anyone. So um, what you can do is head over to this um, keyword keg, uh, com and then click on the free Chrome extension. It'll send you to this uh, particular page and you can install it for Chrome or Firefox and I won't go through how to uh, install it exactly because it's really easy. Um, I will tell you quickly that you'll have to enter your email address. You'll be sent an email and you'll get an API key in which you just need to, uh, you know, enter the setup area for the particular um, browser that you're using in that extension, the keywords everywhere extension, then it starts working right away. There are a lot of other things you could do with the extension. Uh, keywords everywhere, including uh, working with the Google Search Console, Analytics, Uber Suggest is one of my favorites, and we'll actually look at that in a second, um, and several others here. I won't go through them all, but you can use them in those tools if they happen to be tools that you use. So um, the way I will show you how to use the Keyword Planner in conjunction with Keywords Everywhere goes like this. So I went over to the keyword planner here and you can see I have, you know, entered niche sites here. That's the sort of sample we're working with today for this example. And you can see we have these ranges, the unhelpful ranges here. So uh, you would just download these and I download them as a Excel CSV. So I've already done that just to save time and we don't want screen flow six. We want to see Excel and we'll just um, open up this and we're going to just look at all these keywords that they've given us here. In fact, we'll just go ahead and select them all 156 of them. And we're going to, I've already installed keywords everywhere. So we could click the little icon here and get metrics for my keywords. So if you just click that, a new window will open, or a new tab rather. Then you just paste them in there and click get search volume. At this point, you have the search volumes that you want, of course, and you'll be able to you know, copy those if you want. You can export them again. So we'll, I haven't done this uh, with this particular set, but we'll just say export as a CSV. And then let's see what happens. So now we have the actual search volumes instead of the, uh, you know, unhelpful ranges. So that's one thing you can do.
I had to cut the Uber Suggest demo that I was going to give at this point. For some reason, Uber Suggest wasn't loading for me properly uh, right now. However, if you go over to keywordkeg.com, there's a small section that tells you how to use Uber Suggest. But basically, if you install the plugin and head over to Uber Suggest, you can enter your term and you'll see the search volumes right there. So you'll be able to take some action on those also. Okay, after a few minutes of waiting, it seems like Uber Suggest is not working for me right now, but um, <laughs> you can rest assured that it actually does work if you, uh, you know, go check it out. So those are the workarounds and hopefully, you know, those will be helpful. I will mention, someone did mention to me that if they just, you know, put some ad budget on their AdWords account, like 25 bucks, then they were able to get the search volumes they need. I also heard from some people that had ads running, but apparently they said it wasn't enough, you know, money going to Google or something like that. And then they, they weren't able to get the exact search volumes. They were only getting the ranges. So if you have any, you know, information on that, let me know. I'm not really sure. I don't run any AdWords uh, myself. So I, I wasn't going to, you know, just arbitrarily run ads just so I could see search volumes. So anyway, that's what you can do and good luck. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave comments below. I'll be happy to answer them if I can. Thanks.